Good morning, everyone. Another beautiful day in New York City, except for if you're Tesla. Am I the only one that has noticed that the media seems to be biased against Tesla? In May, CBC ran an article with the headline, Tesla shares may drop below $10 in worst case scenario, Morgan Stanley says. Now, we're adults here. That is a childish headline to say the least. $10? That's what GE is trading at, and GE probably hasn't made anything new since 1985. Whenever I read a headline like this, it means uh, the journalist has entered fantasy land. And just because you're saying Morgan Stanley says the bank says this could be true, doesn't really mean anything. The journalist could be faithfully reporting what the subject is saying, but whether the subject themselves are telling the truth, Often the journalist doesn't have the time to really verify what, what the subject is saying is true or not. And we all know Goldman Sachs was perfectly happy to sell subprime mortgage CDOs to the public while short selling the entire asset in, in the back office. So a bank can't be really trusted in telling, telling the truth or at least not revealing what incentives they have. Morgan Stanley may be a big short seller. Now there are some other YouTube channels that have done a great job kind of categorizing and showing the systemic media bias against Tesla. Why is the media biased so much against Tesla? What's going on? There's a lot of short sellers for Tesla. There's a lot of big whale investors that have placed large sums of money against Tesla and they stand to gain a lot of money if Tesla stock drops and they lose money when Tesla stock continues to go up. So these big whale investors that are often interviewed by financial and business news reporters are always bearish on Tesla. They're always talking about how you know, China doesn't have a demand for Tesla or Tesla can't meet its outputs. And Business News reports this because, well, it makes for flashy headlines. And business financial news isn't in the business of making electric cars that people love. They're in the business of getting clicks. A slightly, maybe less noble goal than Tesla. But nonetheless, we'll forgive the, the noble goals of everybody's individual career and focus on why does there seem to be a continual negative PR campaign against Tesla? And the other part of the system that is creating a negative bias against Tesla and their reporting is reporters don't really like Elon Musk. They may begrudgingly, you know, respect him, but Elon Musk doesn't really play by the rules that financial reporters and business reporters like. I used to work at a financial institution, a news institution, Bloomberg. I can tell you, everybody wears sports coats there, for one. And I don't often see Elon Musk wearing a sports coat. I see him tweeting about anime and making April Fool's jokes. Then that just doesn't play well with your standard financial news reporter. They like serious business. They like technical details. And when Elon Musk is on there tweeting, getting into arguments, trolling people, taking uh, quarterly conference calls, and then telling the reporters their questions are boring, you know, I forget it, we'll just go to the YouTube kid. Hey, YouTube kid, ask me whatever questions you want. Uh, it rubs reporters the wrong way. And I find it amusing, but I can just tell you from within newsrooms, a lot of financial news reporters dislike this and it builds a, a little bit of resentment or disdain for Elon Musk. And so uh, they may be more willing to report the negative headlines or the negative um, statements that the short sellers and bear, bear investors are saying about Tesla because eh, I don't really like Elon Musk anyway. Forget it, yeah, Tesla stock could drop below $10 a share. That sounds like a great headline, that'll get clicks and you know, forget Elon Musk. And this, this kind of creates an environment where Tesla, you know, quarter after quarter after quarter just gets hammered with negative press, even when Tesla is by far the most advanced electric car company, both in terms of manufacturing hardware and software. Tesla, forget cars for a second, it's a very advanced software company that, that is really a, a jewel of the kind of American enterprise at the moment. But nonetheless, the, the negative media reporting continues. Hopefully this offers some insight, just a thought for you guys. There are some other uh, very good YouTube creators that have, have done some, some good systematic uh, collating of titles and headlines that show how ridiculous sometimes the business news can be about reporting on Tesla. It's, you, 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 never, you never hear a positive word ever. Anyway, as I was saying, just a thought for you guys. If you found this moderately insightful, <laughs> click here for another video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Uh, bye.